Over the past few years, we've been telling you about the Nissan Altima, the affordable luxury sedan. And like any proud parent, we've had a lot to say. In fact, the Nissan Altima is the best-selling new car nameplate introduced in the past two years. That's over a quarter million people, or rather 251,568 and counting very opinionated drivers. Here's what a few of them have to say. Before I purchased my uh, Altima GLE, I was driving a Mercedes-Benz 190E and decided to go with a more affordable route on a car. I went to the dealership, test drove, and then I did test drive others after that and traded in the Mercedes 190E. The Altima GLE was the most comparable to the Mercedes. The only thing I actually gave up trading in my Mercedes to an Altima was the uh, part of the payment that I <laughs> needed to diminish. Between my daughter and I, it was mother tested and kid approved. <laughs> we came back to the Altima. Altima's gleaming finish bears a striking resemblance to the hand-finished Mercedes-Benz. Our 43-step paint process starts with anti-corrosive baths that help prevent rust at seams and crevices. A clear coat layer seals the Altima's long-lasting sheen and provides greater resistance to chips and scratches. Inside, you're surrounded by luxury. Starting with a contoured, adjustable driver's seat, available leather seating surfaces, an ergonomically designed cockpit with controls that are easy to reach and read. Power mirrors, windows, and door locks come standard. The GLE has standard air conditioning, power sunroof, and a six-speaker CD audio system. An impressive system isn't the only reason the music sounds great. The cabin is exceptionally quiet. This anechoic sound chamber absorbs engine and tire noise. Microphones inside the cabin identify extraneous noise and vibration. These findings were one reason the Altima features liquid-filled engine mounts. So even at highway speeds, you'll enjoy a hushed, luxurious ride. I am in my car more than I'm sleeping. That is true. The amount of driving I do approximately a week would be the equivalent of driving from Washington, D.C. to Las Vegas. That's 97,058 miles, and I've only had it, uh, that'll be about two years next month. What I do specifically is help companies market their properties to realtors. Voila, the cup holder. The feature that impresses me is how solid it is. And I should know after 97,000 miles, to this day, I have not heard one little squeak at all. In my type of business, I get a lot of different people getting in and out of my car, and I want to make sure that they're comfortable. 97,000 miles and still going strong. Altima's solid feel and quiet comfort is built in from the start with Nissan's intelligent body assembly system, one of the world's most advanced assembly processes. Robots surround and secure the frame with spot wells. Lasers confirm they match blueprint precision. Over time, door latches and hinges can take a real beating. That's why during the design phase, we gave the Altima prototype a beating of our own. Four days and a hundred thousand cycles of use were devoted to the doors alone. No matter where you drive, potholes seem to follow. With this in mind, readings from some of the worst roads in America were entered into a computer. Violent shaking allowed technicians to test suspension durability and reduce steering wheel shake, which can cause driver fatigue. The best way to dress is layer after layer in Alaska. Deep winter usually starts um, mid-October, actually. And if you happen to leave your car out overnight or don't, don't have a garage to put it in and it snows, it's a very high probability that you'll have to dig your way out. When it's 30 or 40 below outside, you definitely want to be prepared. So you want a reliable car, you want something you feel safe in. Yes, I have been stuck in a snowbank before, um, but not in my Ultima. Before there were cars in Alaska, there were dog sleds. So the Nissan Altima is a great improvement. I can be warm. <laughs> to make sure the Altima starts up every time, engine performance was tested in a cold chamber where conditions plunged to sub-freezing temperatures. If you're caught in a downpour, it's reassuring to know we designed the Altima to handle much worse. High-pressure jets doused the car with three times the annual rainfall of Mount Waialeale, Kauai, the world's wettest climate. Seals were checked to make sure the cabin stayed bone dry. The start of the story is um, my birthday. My brother took me to a baseball game. 
We're scooting up the road. There's this big tractor trailer coming at me. And at the last minute, I realized that he was stuck. He has no running lights on his trailer. I was going to hit the trailer. Threw the car hard to the side. And landed the car on top of a narrow strip of grass in front of a bank of trees. Figured, okay, we're going to hit the trees. No. Nope. Cut behind the back end of the trailer, threw it hard to the left, missed the road sign, threw it back hard to the right. And I'm just sitting there in the middle of the road. Everything's okay. I looked around to make sure there wasn't any damage, and uh, it handled it a lot more gracefully than I did, that's for sure. Lane changes and evasive maneuvers feel secure with ultimate super tow control rear suspension. As cornering forces increase, the front parallel link causes the rear wheels to turn in the same direction. Available four-wheel ABS helps prevent wheel lockup even during hard braking. Ultima's robust 2.4-liter 16-valve 150-horsepower engine gives you the confidence to merge into traffic and power out of trouble. Should a collision occur, you'll be glad to know we've built in hood buckling creases, side door guard beams, and front and rear crumple zones. Dual airbags come standard. Naturally, we're quite opinionated about the Ultima, and so are the people who drive them. But in your pursuit of affordable luxury, there's only one opinion that really counts. Your own. See your Nissan dealer and test drive the 1995 Ultima.